is this comes from Augusta Sportswear. This is the 3160. This is their clear PVC jacket. So um, originally designed um, for kind of spirit, so cheerleading. So if there's a downpour, you can show the team colors through a clear jacket. But recently we've had a lot of inquiries of like staff security that they want to, if there's weather, throw it over their t-shirt, whatever, in the summertime, and then you see staff on the back. So again, it's all about the, the, the being clear that you can see the original. Yeah, any outdoor that event wearing. that has yeah. uh, company staff working and, and being uniform, this is a great option for. So uh, great, especially for the, the spring, summer, fall sure. seasons where we're getting some weather and some rain. Um, perfect opportunity. So let's uh, get this one loaded on. I'm going to have you but hold But this is, you know, when you, when you start, when you feel this product, I mean, this, this falls right into that poncho category, right? It's a quick... Uh, throw on and but it's 100% PVC so it's staying right in line with our our myth here that you can't decorate it yeah and this one's great because uh, of the print area I'm going to use the Teflon cover on the bottom right and so I'm going to get a nice smooth surface on the bottom I'm going to split the jacket get rid of all that seam structure and get to that left chest print location um, everything's going to stay uh, consistent here where I'm going to cover it, trying not to introduce new textures to it with that nonstick cover sheet. So sure. smooth on smooth with just the clear in between. I like it. Um, let me just feel for the pressure here, which is great. It's only like a three, yeah. which is like the weight of the platen on that item. Um, and you can feel this, you know, looks looks good. That's a successful uh, iron yep. right and, there. And I'm gonna grab uh, an extra transfer here. So I have an extra set of transfers here. Let's just trim one off. Again, we're gonna use the same tourism agency sure. uh, theme. Position that into place. Zipper's completely off the edge. Cover it with the nonstick cover sheet. And again, just the tack. Great. A few seconds. really limiting any damage uh, that that can cause. Nice and easy peel. Yeah. Because I can see like the edge of this T is lifting up um, as I'm peeling, sure. which means every PVC item just reacts a little bit differently, but it's enough to kind of babysit it just to get that carrier off. Just want it held into position. That's great. Make sure everything stays in place, making sure there's no wrinkles. I mean, I find it amazing that just hitting it for three seconds is already starting to adhere to the product. Yeah, and you, you know? see the, the the wrinkles that happened there when I was really yeah. scared. So I'm just making sure it's completely flat so that doesn't fold over on itself and damage. Sure. And again. And, and it's also interesting, like you had mentioned the T slightly coming up. You can push it a little bit and get that off because we're going to hit it again. Absolutely, yeah. So, I just provided a little bit of hand pressure there to yeah. uh, get it to hit it, and then we will should have 100% success this time. Nice, nice. <laughs> so let's let's walk back through in those 20 seconds of yeah. challenges. First one, I made direct contact with the rubberized textured cover sheet on the top that left these marks, even though my bottom was completely smooth. Second one. I accidentally used the texture underneath, yeah. which impacted the finished result. This one, we have completely smooth on smooth. So a smooth See, we Teflon just need, sandwich. We just needed a little warm up. And then I have a much better finished result. And so you're not getting any of the texture for sure uh, coming through at all. So I'd say third time's the charm and something that can be reproduced. Absolutely.